Let me show you how you can get NN for free forever. If you guys don't know what NN is, it's essentially AI node automation. This is where you make money with AI by selling your workflows to businesses, either local or online. The quick thing about me is I've spent the last four years working as a software test developer for three different AI companies. And I've dropped all of that just to pursue AI automation because I know this is the future and I know this is brand new, brand fresh and free. And I want to take advantage of this. And if you want to join me, join my community below and let's both take advantage of this every single day together and let's join forces. All you need is Cloudflare, which is going to cost you $6. You need GitHub, Oracle and Tremius. All of this is free for Cloudflare. It's going to cost you $6 for just a domain and the domain is going to last your whole year. So it's pretty much free at this point and it's very much worth it. So as you can see right here, this is the F1 legend, Max Verstappen. He's currently on top of the league right now in the year of 2025. And notice how his car is sponsored by Oracle. So as you can see, Oracle on his chest and Oracle on his car. So, so you know that this is a legit company, no scamming over here. So all you need to do is just go ahead and search up Oracle Cloud Login. So once you've searched that up, then what you need to do is go ahead and go to Cloud Sign In on Oracle. Accept all, create yourself a cloud account. It's brand new, brand uh, for free, and it has to be cloud. So to save time, pretend uh, that I've already done the process and boom, here's my brand new cloud account. So from here, what you're gonna do is you wanna go ahead and highlight on the compute right over here, click it, then go to instances right over here. Notice how it's already highlighted with the pin, pin button. Click on instances, wait for it to load. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and create a brand new instance, just like this. From there, what you wanna do is you wanna call your instance. I'm gonna call it Cloud Cloud Flare N A N, just like that. We're gonna use Cloudflare to essentially connect Oracle to whatever domain that you have, so that way you can use NN for free. So that's how you connect NN. Next, what, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and change the image, make sure it's Ubuntu, just like that. And we're gonna select 24.04. Go ahead and select the image. Next, what you wanna do is you just wanna leave everything else the way it is and go ahead and click on next. So click on next as well. Perfect, so this is, this is what we're gonna be using. If you don't see this, whatever, whatever virtual cloud network or subnets, if you don't see it, go ahead and just click the create cloud network right over here and also create a public subnet. For me, I've already created everything. Um, if you don't, if this is not visible on your screen, then all you have to do is create new public and it's gonna generate you like a brand new one. It's pretty easy. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna download these two private keys. So go ahead and download both of them one and two make sure that you put them directly in your folder on your pc so that way nothing's confusing and you know and you keep your pc organ very organized so i'm going to create a folder called ssh keys just like that and then these two keys i'm going to put them right into my ssh folder so these two i'm just going to drag them into my ssh keys folder and boom so that way, every time I click desktop and click SSH keys, I have all my keys in order and my PC is organized. From there, you're gonna click on next. Perfect. So now that your instance is basically created, you're gonna need to go ahead and boom, create it just like that. The following error, standard micro account, you can request a server limit increase to quotas. Okay, okay. I don't like listening to the rules. Okay, it looks like I already have a bunch of instances open, so I'm just gonna delete a few instances. So that way I can go ahead and create. Looks like there's a limit as to how many instances I can, I can create. So what I'm just gonna do is just delete both of them, say goodbye, boom, terminate, terminate, permanently delete, and then attach the boot volume, delete everything. You don't need this, this is garbage. Stop, 
stop instance perfect and then what we're going to do is terminate it completely boom and delete everything perfect so now that everything's terminating and deleting all you have to do is now go ahead and go back to your go back to your page click create and it should work perfect this is exactly what we want as you can see it's in progress now that it's downloading you're going to go ahead and search up for termius termius is what you need to do a bunch of cool tricks and connect everything so ready oops termius search up termius this is how it should look like just like this it says termius modern ssh client ready we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on install so while that's installing we're going to check up on our created instance and see if it's created or not perfect now that the termius has been installed we're going to go ahead and open it up and create an account yep allow termius to take control of my system yep it's essentially ai powered ssh tool and we're going to use its commands to connect cloudflare with nan and our oracle account so just create a just create an account doesn't matter we're just going to redirect i'm just going to use our main email wait for everything to load and then open just like that perfect so we're going to type an encryption password i'm just going to keep it nice and simple okay type in your passwords save my encryption key in my head and should be all import later do it later do everything later start connecting now we need an ip address so we're going to go back we're going to go back to oracle click on instances now it's running cloudflare dash nan this is exactly what we want we're going to go ahead and click on the details and then we're going to see that our public ip address is right over here perfect so this is what we're going to do we're going to grab the ip address copy it paste it in here click continue so just like this label it we're going to label it cloudflare nan just like that for username we're going to go back to here notice how it's ubuntu the username is ubuntu we're going to copy that oopsie we're going to copy that go back to termius type in the ubuntu and we're going to type in that cool password that you will 100 percent memorize not just joking we're going to go ahead and click on key, delete the password, we're going to click on key, we're going to call it nan-2, click create. Next what we're going to do is we're going to import our private key. So we're going to go back to our folder ssh keys, we're going to click on the ssh key, here's our private key. Um, I'm not going to scroll all the way down. So we're going to click save and boom, we're connected just like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect. Boom. Now that it's connecting, we're going to accept and continue. So this is how you're going to connect to cloud. We're going to we're going to use NN on cloud completely free. Now, what, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and go on to Cloudflare. Search it up. It's very it's a, it's an awesome service. All you have to do is just type in Cloudflare cloudflare.com create an account and what you want to do is you want to buy a domain that starts with a dot org dot org because dot orgs are the cheapest and so once you do have a domain all you have to do is just pay six dollars every uh, just can be one year it's gonna be super cheap click on the domain then you're gonna click on the DNS records and then just leave everything the way it is we're gonna have the cloudflare connected records for us and do all the hard work so next, what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start up everything. So we're going to update real quick. Sudo, type, it, type in sudo apt update. Click enter. So now that everything's updating, what we're going to what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and go to Dan's blog. This is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to use this made by Dan Ongundi. If you guys don't know who this is, this guy is an awesome programmer. He's, he's a South African NN specialist. But anyway, 
he made this workflow and we're just gonna shout it out anyway we're gonna go ahead and copy everything one by one so we're gonna install docker so copy docker and now wait till everything's finished so as you can see we're updating 5 15 percent we're just gonna go one at a time so first you're gonna connect this next you're gonna connect that make sure your make sure your website ends with a dot org so for me I'm gonna be using West Coast swim right over here West Coast swim dot org this is gonna be my website for you it could be dot com I recommend dot org it's the cheapest you get to save a lot of money Perfect, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to go to this guy's Docker, copy it. We're gonna paste, we're gonna paste it in. Control Shift V, Control Shift V, perfect. Remember to paste in in the SSH, you have to click hold Control Shift V. Perfect, paste it in. Now that it's working, we're gonna go ahead and copy the next line of code. This is gonna install the NN completely and, and attach it to your website using the 5678 port. Perfect, now that everything's loading and Docker is being created, we're gonna go ahead and get everything rolling. Okay, 71, 83. It's being configured right now, 15, 18, 21. 30. Besides all these links that you see on my screen, I'm gonna attach it to my description below of the YouTube video. So all you have to do is just click on them and start using them. Now while it's loading, remember we're gonna copy this, just like that. And while everything's loaded, finally you're gonna click Control Shift V. But before you hit enter, do not hit enter. What you want to do is you want to edit whatever you see that your domain or IP address. You're going to edit it. So delete everything. For me, I'm going to be calling it nan.westcoastswim.org. Remember, guys, you guys want to make sure you have nan. before you put in your website. Perfect. Now, you want to do the same thing at the bottom as well. As you can see, right now on my screen I'm er erasing the your domain part and I'm typing in nan.westcoastswim.org perfect so now that you have everything right there you're gonna click on enter and wait till everything starts downloading and loading whatever you do guys do not press Control C on the SSH Control C shuts everything down if you guys want to copy everything what you want to do is you want to hold Control shift C Highlight something like this and then control shift C. That way you copy everything because control C just shuts everything down. Perfect. So now wait for your link to be generated and everything should be good from there. So while you're pasting this, while this is loading, which you want, you're going to go ahead and go on to Cloudflare Tunnel Manager. Link provided below. It's also made by the same guy, Dan. And as you can see, we're going to now create and connect our tunnel, our Cloudflare tunnel into our SSH. It's as simple as that. It's going to take some time. I might speed this video up, but this is going to save you so much time, so much money as well. And you can build unlimited workflows, as many as you want. It's going to take some time. So all you guys have to do is just sit back and wait. Perfect. Now that everything's installed. We're going to go ahead and go on to this website right over here and copy the installation for the Cloudflare tunnel. There you go. Control Shift, Shift C, wait till everything's done. Type in nano. Perfect. It's installed. Control X to exit. Now, what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to type in and follow whatever it says at the bottom. So it says, then run the script right over here. So this exactly what we're going to do perfect so now we've got access to the cloudflare tunnel and, and now we're going to type in one and install the cloudflare tunnel now that it's installing just going to wait okay now that you've installed you're going to press two 
Okay, it's loading. Here's the link. This link you're going to use to connect to your Cloudflare account. Control Shift C. And now you're going to paste it into your search browser right over here. Now that your Cloudflare is loading, it's going to ask which of the three websites. Make sure it's the one that you've created. So for me, it was West Coast Swim. You're going to click Authorize. And then from there on, it's success. And you don't have to worry about going to the DNS records. It's all going to create everything and you should be good. Perfect. So now that we've successfully connected and have been logged in, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're going to click on three and it's going to create a new tunnel. So you're going to use this to create a new tunnel. You're going to name it Cloudflare NAN. Perfect. Next, we're going to use four to edit the config. So make sure it's the one that you've selected. Cloudflare and N. Nice. So boom, you're gonna edit the go ahead and go to the site right over here. And you're gonna type in nn.westcoastswim.org, whatever website that you have. And you're gonna the local host is gonna be five six seven eight. And for the rest of these domains, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put, put in the hashtag just for these two because you don't have a subdomain. Next, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click Control, Control X and Y to save changes. Perfect. Press Enter. Nice. So now that you have everything, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pick Option 5. This is going to be route subdomains to, to the channel. So to the tunnel, put in your domain that you've created, enter a subdomain, what you want to call it is nnwestcoastswim.org, press enter, okay, press done to finish, and now what we want to do is we want to enable the auto run, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on seven, this way, and pick your tunnel, Pick, we're gonna we're gonna enable auto start for Cloudflare so that way it's running 24 7 and we can access it anytime we want so we're cleaning the old system and now we're creating and tunneling a brand new service perfect so now that's done what, what you guys want to do is want to go ahead and type in your website so click new tab type in your website nn.westcoast.swim org your brand new tunnel wait till it loads put in your email boom for me it's gonna be this email boom password I'm not telling you oops okay click next boom now you get to put whatever you want get started make sure the License key sent to you directly to your email. Boom. Now you're 100% good to build any workflow that you want. It's 100% uh, cloud accessible anytime, any day, any place. Very easy, very simple, super fun. Join the community below. There's also in my community, we have unlimited NAN hacks. You get to join, have fun. Very simple. And we're going to be sharing workflows that you don't have to build at all. All you have to do is just download the JSON, paste in the JSON and you can start running and automating and reaching out to clients, wh whichever niche you pick. And if you don't have a niche, I'll pick one for you. It's very simple. Niches doesn't matter. All you need to do is just work. And we have a checklist that you can follow, a daily checklist in the community. So link below that you can join.